Why is he? <laughs> he likes that part. Why is he? <laughs> you and now tuned in with Trophy. Go Trophy. We can let crack toes be open. Go Trophy. Only with Trophy. Hey Troph Squad. Welcome back to the channel. I have a special guest with me. Well, he's not the special guest. He's the star of the show. We have Terrell right here who does not want to look at the camera. He's too busy looking at moonwalking all around. He is a three month old. So today we're going to be doing his three month old baby update. He's been three months for a couple of weeks. So he's a veteran. You know, he knows how this three month old thing goes. Look, he is staring at Moo. <laughs> Moo is like walking all around. He's just looking at Moo. So he turned three months on July 29th. So he's kind of halfway, almost four months. He'll be four months. August 29th. Moo is like really putting on a show over here. Can, can, do you mind? We're trying to film here. So it's three months and a half. He'll turn four months on July 29th. And from now on, I'm probably going to start doing um, monthly updates. I'm probably going to skip four months since we're so close to that. But five months, six months, and so on and so on. I'll be giving updates on baby Terrell so you guys can see how he's doing. As you can see, he's very alert and he pays attention to his surroundings. Moo is walking all around, knocking over stuff, and he is looking at Moo and like seeing what she's doing. Moo, chill. I'm just gonna give you guys updates on how he's been doing his development and just you know what he likes, what he doesn't like, all that good stuff. I'm trying to make this video as quickly as possible because I don't want him to get cranky. Hopefully, he talks today. So a major development with Terrell is that he talks a lot. We'll see if he'll talk to us during this video. He talks up a storm. Well, not talks, you know, it's not considered talking, but he's cooing and making all types of noises. And he'll repeat after me, like if I make a screaming sound, he'll repeat after me. Uh, last night he was talking like crazy. This boy was screaming. That's his real new, new thing. As of yesterday and the day before that, he's been screaming. Like it was time for him to go to bed. He's just inside of his little bassinet, kicking and going, ah, ah, just screaming. So he's definitely discovering his voice and. He's having a lot of fun with it. The time that he talks the most is in the morning when he first wakes up. He has a lot of energy. And then also whenever I talk. So he'll probably start talking during this video. When he hears me talking a lot, that's when he likes to talk and take over the show. He's a very, very alert baby and he's growing so much. I just washed his hair. That's why his little hair kind of looks wet. The little curls. <laughs> I brushed it. He's so cute. He's so, so cute. Right now he's wearing three month clothes and I'm gonna start washing his three to six month old clothes because this is a three to six month uh, onesie. And as you can see, it fits him really, really nicely. He is starting to teeth. He's been slobbering a whole lot, which is why I have this bib. It's like a little teething bib. It has a teething part on it. And if he wants to, he can put it in his mouth. I just bought these bibs from Target the other day. And he puts the bib in his mouth, but he never gets to the part, like the teething part. He'll have it in his mouth like this part right here, but he never gets to the teething part. So he has been slobbering a whole bunch. Um, if you watch my videos, you see he's been blowing spit bubbles. He's been slobbering, and I have to constantly wipe his mouth because I don't want it to get too wet. I don't want him to get a rash on his chin or his neck to be too wet. So I'm constantly wiping his mouth and um, the bibs, they really, really come in handy. He goes through about three to five bibs a day. It just depends on if he's slobbering or if he spits up. His neck rash, it cleared up. It was really, really red at first, but the doctor gave me like this um, anti-fungal stuff and I put that on for about two weeks and um, it went away okay. But I think he also just grew out of it. He also grew out of his dry skin. He had dry skin at first. He had, uh, infant acne he had little dry patches on his skin and he just grew out of it i just think that's something that they grow out of he also grew out of his cradle cap he had that for the first couple of months and mostly he had the cradle cap right here and right here in the front of his head <laughs> he mostly had it like in this little part right here in the front of his head but it's completely gone now it doesn't come at all so i just think that's something that they grow out of like when you get to the three month stage everything just clears up <laughs> that's what he does when he hears me talk he'll just continue you want to be you want to talk to huh say this is my video i want to talk to well, tell him what you've been doing this is like one of the major developments that i noticed is that he's been talking so freaking much it's crazy pretty soon you're gonna be saying mama huh 
Or you gonna say dad dad first? Mama? 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 <laughs> you gonna say mama. So all of his dry patches. <laughs> so all of his dry patches all around his body went away, but he did have a little dry part like right here, a very, very small little dry area. And I was thinking it was eczema. I put this uh Aveno eczema stuff on him for the past couple of days and like I haven't been noticing it anymore. If it just went away like that, then that stuff is really, really good. But it could just be like something that he, he grows out of as well. Like his skin does different things. One day he'll have something and then it'll just go away the next. Oh! Oh, chunky, chunky. I need to change his bib, but I'm going to try to hurry up and finish this video while he's still in a good mood. So yeah, like I said, one day he'll have something going on with his skin and then the next couple of days it'll just go away. Um, I just think that he goes through little phases, right? He goes through little phases. <laughs> Another thing that he's doing a lot is kicking. This boy loves to kick. Like when it's time for me to change his diaper, he'll kick so much. And it's like a little hard part at the end of the changing table. And he always kicking that. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's going to hurt his feet. Also inside of his swing, he kicks that little hard part. So I think he just likes to kick hard surfaces. He kicks when he, I change his diaper. He kicks when he's in a swing. And then he also kicks when he's in the bathtub. That boy, he like splashes water all on the ground. It gets everywhere, but I let him explore because he's discovering his feet. And he's discovering, <laughs> and he's discovering his hands. Like, uh, he's always moving his hands. Lately, he's just staring at his hands. and Like, he'll just be laying down and just looking at his hands, staring, opening his fingers and closing them and doing things like that. He's always moving his arms. So, he's discovering, like, I have limbs. I got feet and I got legs. And I got hands and I got arms. <laughs> it's just amazing to see how babies grow. And you can, like, especially me being with him all day. Every day, I can really see all of his little developments and different things that he's been doing. So he's still sleeping inside of his bassinet. He sleeps in the room with me. I'm not going to change him and move him to the nursery till he's, like, six months. What do you <laughs> you want to stay in the room with me? But yeah, I'll probably move him to uh, his own room when he's six months so he can, you know, get in the groove of being by himself in the room. Because you can't be in the room with mommy and daddy all the time. You said you can? Okay. Well, I <laughs> but yeah, he's still sleeping in the room. Can you let me finish the video? Anyway, he's still sleeping in the room with me, and he's still being swaddled. He's not rolling over it yet, so I'm still swaddling him, and he sleeps a whole lot better when he's swaddled. I still use the swaddle me. I graduated him up from the size small one, now he's in the size medium one, and he pretty much stays in that thing the whole night. He may, uh, his arms may come out of it. I don't know how he always manages to get his arms out of it, but for the most part, he stays in it. The whole night, um, I don't use any blankets or anything to swaddle him anymore because they don't work no more. That swaddle me is the only thing that works. And um, whenever he starts rolling over, I move him out of the swaddle and uh, probably get like a sleep sack or something. I have to do some research. Y'all let me know, whenever your kid, your baby start to uh, roll over and everything, did you just start letting him sleep in pajamas or did you get like a sleep sack or something? Because that's something I see parents using. He's not rolling over yet. He can, like, if I put him on his back, he'll try to roll over a little bit, but it's not like a complete rollover. I don't think that counts. He is doing his tummy time a lot better. He's able to sit up for a long period of time. You probably, guys probably saw in the last uh, vlog that I did, he was, um, he was doing tummy time for a while. He's able to, um, and he's able to pretty much entertain himself as well when he was little. Like a month ago, he needed my attention all the time, but now he's able to sit by himself just to look around at different things and to uh, be on his tummy for longer periods of time without all that crying. I've definitely noticed that the crying has decreased, thank God. And then he's also kind of making his own schedule, so his schedule is kind of predictable. I know that he'll take a really long nap in the morning time and then he'll take 
two like, regular naps throughout the day. So all together he takes three naps a day and then we'll go to sleep. I know it's bad, but we go to sleep around 12 o'clock at night and wake up around nine. So he pretty much made his own schedule as far as napping goes. And then um, he just goes to sleep when I go to sleep at around 12. And he doesn't have a problem going to sleep. He goes to sleep on his own. So what I do is I'll feed him, swaddle him and everything. And I'll put him inside of his bassinet. I'll put on either some jazz music, some uh, baby Mozart music, or uh, the white sound, the white sound machine, and then he'll just lay in his little bassinet. He may whine a little bit, or he may do a little bit of talking, or lately, like he's been doing, he may do a little bit of screaming, but he usually go to sleep within like 10 minutes on his own, and then he'll wake up. Still, he's waking up every two to three hours in the middle of the night, he'll wake up every two three hours and then i'll breastfeed him and then he'll go right back to sleep so he does a really good job of sleeping throughout the night something i noticed with his hair is it is starting to get a little patchy like some spots are as you can see a little patchy i mean that's just like a baby thing right because they lay on their their back because i noticed like back here he doesn't have as much hair as he does right here so oh he loves 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 music when we're in the car he loves to listen to his jazz cd and a lot of you guys are like what cd was that i put the name of the cd somewhere on a screen he loves that thing so if he's crying because he's not one of the babies that as soon as you start going in the car he'll get quiet no he'll whine and he'll cry so when I turn that music up, not too loud, but when I turn that jazz music up, he'll instantly get quiet. And that's anywhere. Whenever music turns on, he gets quiet. That's something that his dad discovered, and thank God he did because ah, music has been a lifesaver. When it's nap time and he doesn't want to go to sleep, turn that music up. He'll be asleep within the next couple minutes. He also loves the book. He also has a, a favorite book, I think, because when I read the book to him a couple of times, when his dad read it to him, he was really, really interested where the wild things are. I think that's his favorite book. Yeah, I'm going to say that's his favorite book. We've been doing uh, flashcards with him. We've been doing reading books with him. Try to do that every day so he can get familiar and start to love books at a young age. I'm still breastfeeding him 100%. He's uh, strictly breastfed. I either pump a bottle for him or I'll breastfeed him. Like overnight, I always breastfeed him because I'm not, I don't like waking up, put, getting bottles, warming up bottles in the middle of the night. No, so I just, um, I just breastfeed him overnight. But throughout the day, it just depends on if I just pumped or where we, where we are, if we're at home or whatever. I'll either breastfeed him or I'll feed him the bottle. I think my milk supply is pretty good. It did drop a few weeks back, like drastically when I was on the road with Terrell. And I was really, really worried because I was like, what if I'm not able to produce? But once I got back home and got into the routine, of eating like three times a day and drinking a lot of water it started to go up and then I also started taking um, those emergency brownies from Milky Mama I think it's just MilkyMama.com I'll uh, include a link down below and um, those really really made my milk supply go like all the way up like all the way up <laughs> so lame I definitely produce enough milk for him to be fed throughout the day and then sometimes I'm able to have a little bit of extra so I can save it. I don't have as much extra as I did in the beginning because I used, I was saving uh, bags of milk like crazy. But now I'm really lucky if I get to do one bag of milk a day and save it. Like today I was able to do a bag of milk which was amazing. He is 16 pounds. I, I don't know if it was super super accurate because I held him and weighed myself and then I weighed myself by myself. And uh, it was 16 pounds. So he's a 16 pounder. He's a 16 pounder, big boy. <laughs> you a 16 pounder, big boy. Yeah. You healthy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's wearing size three diapers, and the diapers I get from him are the babies. Movers. I've noticed lately that he's having a little personality, smiling a lot. His cries definitely have meaning. He'll cry when he's bored. He'll cry when he's cold. Uh, he also cries whenever his socks fall off because I guess he's so used to having socks on all the time. I always keep socks on him just because I, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it's good to keep socks on so it doesn't get sick or something. I don't even know if that's true, but he always has socks on. And whenever one of his socks fall off, I guess he gets cold and he starts to cry so whenever his socks come off i know that he'll cry because of that if it's too cold in the house if it's too hot in the house 
you'll cry and this boy gets hot really really quickly he can't be outside like i like to go out on the port i mean on the patio and just like sit and listen to the pool the waterfall and stuff like that and he cannot stand being out there for too long he'll start to sweat and especially because we're in houston and it's hot y'all know it is hot always in houston so he can't be outside for too long and even when it's like 71 degrees 72 degrees in the house he'll get hot so he likes it to be cold he's like his dad so i have to deal with two cold body people and i'm like a warm body person like at night time when he sleeps it definitely has to be really cold I guess because he's in his swaddle and he already gets hot, he likes for it to be cold. And if not, then he'll wake up sweating. And I don't want that. So, I mean, it's, it's you. So, I just have to cater to him and his needs. <laughs> what are you talking about? This boy. He, and he loves to look at his, in my eyes. He likes to look at my eyes and talk to me. See, that's his, he was doing that all last night, y'all. He was just screaming. <laughs> he was singing with me, too. He likes to sing with me when I do the ABCs. Let's see if he'll sing with me. You gonna sing with me, Chunky? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. <laughs> Like that part. Why is he? Why is he? <laughs> I think that's everything that's been going on with him. If I can remember anything else, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. Um, yep. So. Before he starts to get cranky or tired of being right here, I'm gonna go ahead and end this, uh, not vlog, <laughs> go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back when he turns five months to give you guys another update. As always, we love you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Go girl, only with trophies.